Hey, Jared here from soundguitarlessons.com. I have just a fun, simple lesson for you today that should be very helpful if you are a guitarist that is practicing your scales. And probably most of us are practicing scales at some point. Uh, we don't have to. Someone could easily be a guitarist who just only plays chords and never plays scales. But we're, most of us want to want to learn our scales, even if it's just for the theory, mapping out the fretboard, um, understanding um, melody in pieces of music and stuff like that. So I think we should all be um, working on scales um, very often. And that's why I have a free download that is all the main scales that we should know. And there's a link to that in the top of the description. And today I want to talk about um, doing scale runs that are smooth and kind of slick and light soundings, really good for our technique to incorporate slurs legato playing into our scale. So I'm just going to show you a very simple kind of descending scale run and exactly where to use the slurs. This is an exercise that I teach in my course called Top Notch Technique, and I wanted to share it with you here. We can apply it to any scales ever, and it's just very simple and prescriptive. If you add slurs, uh, which are re-articulating a note with the left hand without plucking it with the right hand, or without plucking it again with the with the plucking hand that you're using, if you happen to be a left hand player, um, then that is legato playing. That is what a slur is. A hammer on or a pull off is a slur. So I want to give you this very simple way to work on this to make your your scale runs. This is the way, you know, I play all the time. My playing style tends to be kind of clean and kind of jazz oriented. If I run down a scale though, I'm going to slur in very specific places. And so I'm going to use this uh, G major scale form right here that I'll put on the screen to show you. And where we want to slur is every time there are three notes on the string, we're going to play pluck, pluck, and then slur, which is pull off on the last note. So pluck, pluck, pull off, pluck, pluck, pull off. When there's two notes on a string, you just pluck both of those. And then every, and that's usually on one string, unless that happens to be the first and sixth string. There's one string in these scale forms where there's two notes. Everything else has three notes with the particular scale forms that I, that I tend to use and teach. And then so pluck, pluck, pull off, pluck, pluck, pull off, pluck, pluck, pull off. So it's a great way to give your plucking hand this break for a moment. It seems like it might not be that helpful of a break to have this, you know, one little moment where you don't have to pluck again, but it really helps. It resets our ability to play faster, smoother, lighter, um, and have more relaxed techniques. So, and it just sounds very slick and smooth. So you can also do it with this other scale form, any scale form, but I'll show it to you here with this other scale form also in G. Okay, so it's a great way to work on things that in the intro of the video, I played it in this scale form. Okay, and if you work on that, then you're going to end up using that in your actual improvisations or uh, maybe you're composing lead guitar stuff or whatever. Um, and if you like the sound of it, great. If you don't like the sound of it, you don't have to utilize that. But I particularly like um, adding slurs into my, my playing wherever I can. I want to do anything to be as relaxed as possible, which it helps a lot with that. And I do um, really love the sound of it as well. So here's the exercise again. <laughs> can work on getting faster with it or switching scales with it. And that's just two places to, to play it. I can play a lot faster than I would be able to if I plucked it. Okay, I can get about that speed, but get a lot faster with uh, with the slurs if I want to get to you know playing faster I don't prioritize speed in my own practice that often um, but if I do and when I need it um, I use this kind of technique to get there so it's a fun thing to have at least a descending scale run um, in your kind of physical technique repertoire if you will uh, to work on so I think it's a nice little thing to practice when you're working on scales when you're working on technique when you're working on slurs again if you want scales to work on and need diagrams for them I have the seven most important scales to know written out in five positions each very easy to practice off of these are the parent scales that the modes come from and everything like that so they're really great to practice at least a few of them very important to know pretty much for any kind of music that we want to play you can download that for free with the link in the top of the description or go to soundguitarlessons.com scales since we're talking about slurs here hammer-ons and pull-offs then what i recommend watching next if you want to level up your pull-offs in particular for this exercise please check out my video about hammer-ons and pull-offs and the proper way to do them it will make your pull-offs sound way more clean and if you add that to this exercise it's going to sound really good and slick and intentional so check that out if you want to there'll be a link on the screen here if you're watching on youtube 
or there'll be a link in the description if you want to go down there to get it. I post a new lesson video every week. I hope to see you in the next video. Thanks so much for watching. Take care and happy practicing.